Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry it's been so long. I'm actually in the middle of planning a wedding, doing and killing my new job, and on this bridal boot camp journey. So hopefully you understand. What I want to keep my focus on for this video is how to get a quality YouTube channel on a $20 to $60 budget. Before I continue, if you did not subscribe to my channel yet, you need to get on game. So I'll just give you a second, just go ahead and subscribe. Done? Awesome. This means a lot to me because when I started off, I had no clue what I was going to need to start a YouTube channel, but I knew that I didn't have the money for it. So already I was not here for the YouTube channel budget, but I had to open my mind and understand that if I wanted to do it, I was going to have to spend some type of money. It can't just be for free. Having a YouTube channel is not my 9 to 5, so you just have to be mindful. For someone like me and for some of you who follow me, you want to spend some, a, a reasonable budget, something that doesn't seem absurd. I mean, The first thing that you're going to need that may be free for some of you, an iPhone. Sorry, Androids. I'm not sure what it's like on your phones. With my fiance's phone, I'm not a huge fan. So I don't know if this may be for you or if this could just be a reason to invest in an iPhone. An iPhone is the best thing to use for a $20 budget. The thing is, is that most people think that it's really hard to do really good videos with an iPhone, but this actually works out just as good as a DSLR or digital camera. The next thing that you're going to need that I'm obsessed with is good lighting. I'm not interested in good videos or good content with bad quality. So if you have a YouTube channel or if you have a video and it, it looks grainy and it just looks like we're in 1999, it's more than likely that I'm not going to follow it. So for me, lighting was something that I was willing to invest in. Not a lot, but something that I was willing to look into. The first thing that I found out that works best is free and it's called daylight. So just using the sun that comes through your windows. Quite frankly, using daylight makes better videos and better quality videos than using the high tech lighting that you see nowadays. The next thing that you're going to need is an iPhone tripod. I used this for a long time. I got this from Target. This was about 20 bucks. This is still my baby. The next set of equipment is for those who may have a $60 budget or is more flexible. As I did YouTube videos, as time went on, I started realizing how obsessed I was with lighting. For the Instagram models and for the Snapchat models out there like myself, self-proclaimed, you know that being in front of good lighting can change your whole life through Instagram and Snapchat. Well, best believe we'll do the same on YouTube. So I got some more lighting babes. This is one of them. It comes with a cool umbrella. It comes with all the equipment you need to basically have the best stage for your YouTube channel. There's no reason why you shouldn't start your YouTube channel. With good lighting and a good iPhone, your YouTube channel can go really far. Whether you have $20 to spend or $60, it's possible. Just so you have an idea, the first three videos I did was on an iPhone, so you can check that out. But it was just as good. When you're using your iPhone for your YouTube channel, and let's say you're on that $20 budget, another free tip that I want to give to you all is not to use the microphone that's directly on your iPhone to film your videos. What you want to do instead is create your own microphone using your headset. So using your headset will give you the good quality sound. Whenever you are filming with your iPhone, you just want to make sure the mouthpiece to your headset is showing. And it's, it's close to you, but not that close. It doesn't need to be all on your mouth. It just needs to be hanging somewhere where you can see it, and it'll pick up your voice. As far as editing, I used iMovie. It was pretty simple because 
what I ended up doing was doing a lot of research through YouTube on ways to use iMovie, how to edit YouTube videos via iMovie. I found out how to do it in literally less than 15 minutes. Like it took only 15 minutes out of my day. I just saw one video and from there it was that simple. For those of you who do not have a Mac, YouTube provides a editing system and you're uploading your video and where you can cut things out, um, where you can add music. There's free music out there through YouTube as well and all you have to do is type in free royalties and free music will pop up. If you want to start a YouTube channel, you're the only person stopping yourself. Hopefully you're going to start it and I'm excited to click subscribe and watch. If you have any more questions, please comment below. I always want to give you my feedback with love. So chew it and use it. With love, Trish.